Namashiva students, as we were reading the text, Should Wizard Hit Mommy, we saw that Joe is completely dissatisfied with the ending of the story that his father was telling him. So now let us continue with the text. No, Joe said, and put her hand out to touch his lips, and even in her agitation did not quite dare to stop the source of truth. Inspiration came to her. Then the wizard hit her on the head and did not change that little skunk back. No, he said. The wizard said, okay, and Roger Skunk did not smell of roses any more. He smelled very bad again. So Jo here is expressing her surprise by saying no. She put her hands on his lips. She got angry but did not stop his father. As the father is source of truth, because he is telling the story. Now a thought came to her. She told that then the wizard would have hit the mother skunk. He did not change the smell of Roger. Jack said that it was not true. The wizard agreed and changed the smell of Roger to his earlier bad smell. But the other little Amum, oh Amum, Joan, it's daddy's story. Shall daddy not tell you any more stories? Her broad face looked at him through sifted light, astounded. This is what happened then. Roger Skunk and his mommy went home and they heard woo woo and it was the choo choo train bringing daddy Skunk home from Boston. And they had lima beans, celery, liver, mashed potatoes and pie oh my for dessert. And when Roger Skunk was in bed, Mommy Skunk came up and hugged him and said he smelled like her little baby skunk again and she loved him very much. And that's the end of story. So though Joe started objecting, she could not say anything. Jack did not listen to her objections. He told her that her daddy was telling story. If she wanted him to tell more stories, she needs to accept what had happened in the story. Joe looked at her father through the light that was coming from the window curtains. Joe was greatly surprised by the response of her father. After that, Roger Skunk and his mommy went home. They heard the sound of the train coming from Boston. His father was coming home in that train. Then they ate their dinner together. Many dishes had been prepared for dinner. When Roger went to his bed, Mommy Skunk came to him. She hugged him. She told him that now he smelled just like her little child. She loved him. And that was the end of the story. Too young to have a concept of duty, Joe does not accept Jack's story and views Roger's mother as the villain for refusing to allow Roger to have the acceptance of his peers. Therefore, Joe believed that Roger's mother should be punished for her transgression. But Daddy, what? Then did the other little animals run away? No, because eventually they got used to the way he was and did not mind it at all. What's even Shiladi? In a little while. That was a stupid mommy. It was not. He said with rare emphasis and believed from her expression that she realized he was defending his own mother to her or something as odd. Now I want you to put your big heavy head in the pillow and have a good long nap. He adjusted the shed so not even a crack of day showed and tiptoed to the door in the pretense that she was already asleep. But when he turned, she was crouching on top of the covers and staring at him. Hey, get under the covers and fall fast asleep. Bobby's asleep. So Joe asked if the little animal now run away from Roger. Jack explained that finally, after some time, they all became used to his smell. So, it did not bother them now. Then Joe asked the meaning of even shilari. Actually, she is not able to pronounce the word eventually. Jack explains that it means 
Finally, after some time, Joe said that Mommy Skunk was a fool and Jack said with a lot of stress that she was not foolish. It appeared to him that Joe had understood that he was trying to protect his own mother. Jack now ordered Joe to put her head on pillow and to have a good nap. He adjusted curtains so that no sunlight came into the room. He walked to the door without making any noise. He thought Joe had already slept. But when Jack looked back, he found that Joe was sitting on top of the bed cover. She was staring at him. Jack ordered her to put the cover over her and sleep quickly. He said Bobby was already sleeping. Joe and Jack's fundamental disagreement at the end of the story reveals that, as a child, Joe feels a duty only to herself and therefore cannot understand why Roger would compromise his happiness for his mother. In Should Wizard Hit Mommy, the process of crafting a story is as important as the story itself. Indeed, Jack uses Roger Skunk story to exercise control and decisiveness that he feels like he no longer possesses in his own life and also to delay helping his pregnant wife Claire repaint the living room and in the process delay confronting the fact that his family is about to get bigger. Far from merely a mechanism to get his daughter to sleep, the story becomes a way for Jack to recontextualize his personal unhappiness, exercising total control over his simple narrative to compensate for a lack of control he feels in life. As a result, Jack is incredibly protective over his story and its hero, Roger Skunk, and views Joe's attempts to change the structure of his story as more sinister attempts to control him as well. Jack is especially proud of certain literary and dramatic flares within Roger's story, even though they are lost on Joe. For example, Joe's suggestion that Roger should be a skunk momentarily stirs Jack to creative enthusiasm. He seems to take genuine joy in the task of crafting a narrative. He also uses words that Joe does not know, like crick and eventually, to showcase his own gift for language and is annoyed when Joe interrupts and makes him miss a beat in his narrative. He is proud of his ability as a dynamic storyteller. The wizard's voice was one of Jack's own favorite effects. Abdike explains he did it by scrunching up his face and somehow winning through his eyes. This joy shows that for all his complaining, Jack is enriched by the story he is telling, embracing the ability to exist in an expansive world of his own creation instead of the cramped and unhappy world of his real life. I am ending the lesson over here today. Thank you students. Om Namah Shivaya.